The independent scene had changed drastically since I had left the WWE, but I was even more entwined in it. I couldn't get over the fact of some of the amazing superstars that they had now. I got a call from the guys at Ring of Honor and it was just a match that I couldn't turn down. And it just so happens that Ring of Honor now makes you practice your entrance just as much as the WWE does. Which is for me is great, I know I've been doing that for a little while now, but still. It's funny to think how far I've come and things still are exactly the same, or at least they're trying to make it the same. As you know, it's good etiquette whenever you arrive at the arena to introduce yourself to the guys in the locker room. And I haven't ever met Will Ospreay before, but I was really looking forward to it. His track record on the indie scene is something to behold. The guy is an athletic genius. So I just let him know that basically I was really looking forward to working with him. And it would be an honor to see how this goes. Will Ospreay, a fantastic athletic man is making his way to the ring. He is facing another legend from the UK. Now, obviously, Will has been making a name for himself across the world, representing the British wrestling scene in Japan, America, and anywhere he can, really. His latest thing, he looks like he's going to be going to you know, Australia as well. He really is making a name for himself. But tonight, he faces somebody he's never faced before. He's never had the opportunity. Because James Saxon has finished with the WWE and now he is back in Ring of Honor. He is a free agent and he is traveling the world over. This man is incredibly dangerous and we are going to have the pleasure of watching him work with one of the best wrestlers in this new day and age. I am incredibly excited to be commentating this match for you tonight, ladies and gentlemen. James Saxon is making his way from the back to the ring. We've heard so many stories that he is having camera crew walking around with him on a daily basis as they're filming a documentary about it. I'm not sure if this is commissioned by the WWE or if he's commissioning this himself as a side project. We don't really have a lot of information about it, but this guy is unbelievable in the ring. You've seen him work in the movie scenes before. You've seen him have that massive match with Kenny Omega in New Japan. And he made a massive, massive impact there. And he made a massive impact with WWE before being sidelined with that injury. Now that shoulder injury has taken nine months to get all healed up, but the man looks better than ever. But it looks like he's changed his moveset a little bit. I'm not sure if you guys have noticed as well. But he's not using that shatter shot elbow as much these days. He is instead going for a snap dragon suplex and putting people on their heads. But I can't wait to commentate this match for you tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Will Ospreay, James Saxon. Here we go. Nice little tie up there to start up the match. James Saxon, what's he going to do? Nice Fireman's carry flip. Big kick to the side there with Ospreay with no actual answer at the moment. Saxon taking control early here. Throwing Ospreay over the ropes and straight to the outside. Saxon is being very aggressive from the off here. With his compatriot straight into the ring post. It's not the ring post, he's in the actual barricades. And he's hanging him off it now. Big knee to the outside. This is this is very aggressive from James Saxon. I have seen him in the WWE and I've seen him be aggressive, but it seems like since his injury, he feels like he has more to prove to now. This is just, I don't know what's going on with him. What's he doing now? He's waiting for Osprey to get up. Springboard, drop kick. That landed straight on target. Will Ospreay took both feet to the face and Saxon is just gloating now. He's saying he's got one over on the aerial assassin and now he's just taking pot shots at Ospreay with those left hooks. Will Ospreay though countered. Oh, and a massive single leg kick takedown. This was, that was very quick. We didn't even see that one coming. Ospreay now taking control. And a flip. Oh, yeah. That little cartwheel there. And now he's focusing back on Saxon. Big clothesline. Big clothesline again. Oh, massive drop kick. He is 
fired up right now. Bringing Saxon back to his feet. Saxon, though, counters, takes back control, whips him into the ropes, lifts him up, and just leaves him there. <laughs> what just happened? Will Ospreay literally just fell flat on his face. He did not expect to just be pushed 10 feet into the air and left their big drop kick in the corner now. Saxon going for the pin. One, two, no. Will Ospreay kicks out. It's still quite early in the match and Saxon seems kind of upset that he, he didn't finish that early. Massive combination there. That backhand, that spinning backhand there. Off to the ropes. No. Will Ospreay now with his own fireman carry. Osprey, headlock takedown. He's working that neck of Saxon. I'm not quite sure why. Why he would focus on that area? Surely he'd be focusing more on that shoulder. But Osprey now just really taking it all in. The fact that he's fighting this indie legend that has been around for years. Here we go. And spinning Hurricane Rana. He is really, really starting to get into his groove now. It's hard to anticipate an opponent like James Saxon. Big combination here from Saxon, though, who's now taken back control. That knee to the face looks incredibly hard. But a massive single arm takedown there from Osprey. Spinning kick. Saxon with a counter of his own, a kick to the gut. But Osprey with a left hook to the face. Saxon is reeling, but Saxon now taking it back. Osprey getting the final word in. Saxon's going out to the bottom of the ring. Osprey's chasing him. Saxon's making his way away. What are these two doing? Saxon's getting back in the ring now. And he's taken the initiative. Will Osprey thought maybe he could beat him back in the ring. But no, Saxon, big vertical suplex. Gloating now that he's taken that advantage of getting in the ring quicker than Will Ospreay. I didn't think I'd hear that, but a massive jawbreaker from Will Ospreay there. Whipping him into the corner. What's Will Ospreay got in store for Saxon here? Taking him to the outside, Saxon. He's not anticipating anything. Where's Will gone? Where's Will Ospreay gone? No, no! Oh my God! Osprey through the turnbuckles and a massive DDT, but Saxon's back on his feet and taking advantage of this. I think that just made James Saxon more angry, if anything. Saxon now taking advantage. He threw him into those steel steps and now he's just throwing him around the outside. Back into the ring they get. Saxon now, is he heading to the top? Is he heading to the top rope? He doesn't go to the top rope, ladies and gentlemen. James Saxon, what's he doing? No! Massive counter there. Will Ospreay is going to the middle rope now. James Saxon has come back to his feet. Ospreay is waiting for him. Saxon anticipating, moving out of the way of the drop kick. Picking him up. Are we going to see it? Ripcord knee strike. Is that it? Is that it? Is he going to go for the pin? No, he's calling for it. He's signaling. What is this? What is he doing? Snapdragon suplex. One, two, three. Saxon called for it. He knew he was putting away Will Ospreay, and Will Ospreay simply could not kick out. He was dropped on his head. But ladies and gentlemen, let's look back at these replays now. Unbelievable drop kick there, going for the pin very early. And Will Ospreay easily able to kick out of that. And a two, just taking a little bit of time to rest. But Saxon, with that ripcord knee strike, that was the first, and the second was that Snapdragon suplex. 
onto the back of Will Ospreay's head. Will Ospreay could not kick out. That was incredibly impressive. I really, really am so happy to see James Saxon back in Ring of Honor, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm sure you are as well. This man has needed to get back onto the independent scene. I am really looking forward to seeing where he goes next. Shortly after that, I had to get on a plane back to England because I had a match at Defiant Wrestling with somebody that I was very familiar with, and I'm sure you guys are as well, for the Defiant Championship.